water buffalo meat, the mince it, the meat with water buffalo blood, the red color from the blood. The red color is from the blood. And they mix with the inner. So all kinds of different innards. Heart, five, liver, kidney, offal, inner, intestine. All of them. The water buffalo bile. What's up everybody? This is Mui from A Chef's Tour. This is gonna be my last food tour from Chiang Mai. She's gonna run me around, show me all kinds of cool stuff today and we're starting this one back off. Some place you've already seen before. This is May Money too. What exactly are we looking at there? Grilled fermented pork. All right, here we go, grilled pig brain. When they told me about this uh, at a chef's tour, that this is a location they did, I was like, guys, I just filmed that location there like a week ago. Can't really go back there again. But they don't want to break up their tours, which is completely understandable. And the more I thought about it, when I was here the last time, I did the beef cow soy, which was the first time I had ever done beef cow soy. So today, Mui's ordered me a chicken. But I gotta ask you, Mui, like, why main money too? What is what is what is the big deal with coming back here? The curry pig is much rich and thicker than the other place, and also this is passed down. The curry pig recipe passed down from generation to generation. This is third generation. Third generation. And she also get recommendation from a Michelin five years in a row since 2020 until 2024. That's a great point because when I was here last time, I had no idea that this place had the Michelin recommendation. Cal Soy and Imam was the one that I thought had a Michelin recommendation and then I did a ton, a ton of research. They have no recommendation, there's no designation. They were only mentioned in Michelin Guide at one point in time. This place actually has a Michelin recommendation five years in a row. I've got some shallots mixed in here. I've got the lime squeezed all over it. Now, because I did the beef, that broth took on a totally different flavor from what I am used to in a cow soy. And I believe I mentioned to you guys last time that cow soy, the protein is normally cooked in the broth itself. So it flavors the entire broth and the beef was just something I hadn't had. This is their chicken. Cool. When I did their beef, I really didn't I feel a whole lot of heat to it at all. I had to add a ton of chili to it. This is spicy right on its own. Like, Oh, that is really good. Let's give their noodles a shot. Oh yeah, great bouncy texture. In the last video that I did, I did Khao Soi Lam Duan, and it was my favorite one, without question. I, I really have to question now, because this is fantastic. This is really good. Oh, the Khao Soi is nice. Let's give the chicken a shot. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Their chicken absorbs the broth entirely. Um, it is a tender chicken, it's juicy. Yeah, they do an excellent cow soy. Oh, man. Moi, what's this next dish we got? The name of the dish called Khan Nam Jin Nam 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 This is another famous noodle dish from the north. But most of the tourists, they know only cow soy. They don't know much yeah. about this. It's rice vermicelli noodle with the soup. Yeah, clear broth with pork, pork roll, yeah, pork roll, and chicken blood. And chicken blood. So we add with the uh, pickle massa green. This is rich and easy. It's so I'm supposed to add everything in yeah. here? Would you just would you just throw all of it in? Or? Yeah, just throw everything in. And squeeze the lamb and add pickle massa green, and it will be like more spicy. You just grab the chili and bite. Grab the chilies and just eat them raw like yeah. that. The seasonings on this broth are fantastic. What all is, what are they making all, of, what all is made of the broth? It's another unique ingredient from the north, that seasoning in Nam Nyao. We call that dry fermented soybean. Dry fermented soybeans. Yeah. It's made from the soybean. You boil the soybean and you ferment it. What should I go after first here? Yeah, chicken blood. And chicken chicken blood. blood. All right. You guys know how I go with blood. There's not a whole lot of flavor, uh, flavor to a blood cake. Get a little piece off there. There's actually a lot of flavor in this. Are they seasoning the blood? Oh, their blood cakes are flavorful. 
now. Mmm, you get everything else mixed around in there? Oh, wow. Now what should I do? The ribs, delicious pot. Do the ribs. There's a pork rib in here. Now, there's still bone in this. I'm gonna try with chopsticks to pick this up and bite a piece off. Bet it doesn't work that well for me, but let's try. Oh, wow. Oh my, can you see that? Oh, that is good. All right, get a pork ball going here. Oh, that's good. Just a pork meatball, how are they cooking them? They just mince the pork and they make it into a ball. And then they cook inside of the broth? Yes. Yeah, there's, there's no char to the outside of them or anything. Oh, that is super flavorful. The last time I had Gnome Jean, I had nothing to compare it to, and I'm, I still like the one that I had. I'm not saying anything negative about that one, but this is on another level. This is unbelievable. Oh, that's good. Oh man, it's even better. That's finishing off May Money too. It is hot as can be out here. Pretty sure we're gonna get some monsoons coming up, but we're gonna go jump on our song pal here. We're on our way to go try some lot right now. And so you guys are aware, a chef's tour, they hire a song pal for every tour that they do. So all your transportation is included in the tours that they do here. As usual, there'll be links down in the description. We've arrived at our next destination, and on the ride over here, Mui was explaining so much different stuff to me. There's no way I could explain this to you. So I'm gonna have her explain this. What exactly am I looking at here? This is be called a unique mixed pie that used only in Northern Thai cuisine, mixed into a pie. There are over 10 different pie. Start in this cinnamon, nutmeg, maize, coriander seed, fennel seed, cumin seed, cardamom, black pepper, Indian long pepper, makwan, or the nanning spice that related to Sichuan pepper, and mixed with the fresh herb, garlic, shallot, lemongrass, galango, shrimp head, and fry. And that's what this becomes here, is... This is a quick lab, we call this quick lab. Quick lab. The way she described it to me, we were coming over here, she asked me, uh, have you, you've heard of Chinese five spice, right? I'm like, yeah. She was going, we got 10 spice. So this is what it all looks like. I don't know how well that's gonna focus in there for you. That's what it looks like after it's all fried down in oil there. And this is used in pretty much everything. In soup and salad. Soups and salads. But like the lob, for instance, this would be in the lob because yes. it's technically yes. a salad. You guys have seen me eat water buffalo before. I've never had raw water buffalo before. But you can see it is as raw as can be. Process of making the lob. What all goes into this? Water buffalo meat. They mince it. They mix with water buffalo blood. The red color from the blood. The red color is from the blood. And they mix with the inner. So all kinds of different innards. Heart, fried liver, kidney, offal, inner, intestine. All of them. Water buffalo bile. Water bile. buffalo juice. Partially digest from the water buffalo eat grass seasoning in water buffalo salad. So, just in case you didn't hear that, I'm going to repeat it for you here. Water buffalo juice, which is partially digested from the intestines that are inside of this here. There you go. There's a little bit of the buffalo lob with some sticky rice and one of the fishy, fishy leaves. Yes. All right, here we go. Oh, delicious. That 10 spice that she was talking about and showing you earlier, you literally taste every bit of that in the lob itself. There's nothing foul about the flavor of the lob at all. A lot of awful in there. The one that made me giggle a little bit was the buffalo juice. <laughs> but no, there's nothing like you would think. You start hearing that. Bile I'm familiar with. I've had a lot of dishes in the Philippines that have bile in it. Uh, it's got a beautiful flavor to it. It's super fresh. You get a lot of herbiness from it. It's fantastic. I've got to try just the lob though, because I did use the fishy leaf there. Just lob. I'm not doing any of the herbs with this. I want to eat just the lob and the rice. That's unbelievable. I can't get over how much of a fresh flavor there is to it. There's a hint of spiciness back behind it. It's fantastic. It's unbelievable. This dish here, 
What exactly are we looking at? This dish is called stir-fried puffball mushroom. Puffball mushroom. This is only come in the, in the rainy season once a year that you have a chance to try this. And beginning of May and June. This yeah, is it, it's, it's, You cannot find them, you cannot breathe them. I would say that this is Northern Thai truffle. A Northern Thai truffle. All right, we got a little bit going here. Let's give it a shot. Fantastic. That's delicious. It's unbelievably good. I gotta try these mushrooms on their own. All right, one more bite of this. Oh my God, so good. This one here. What am I looking at? Hot spicy beef soup. Hot spicy beef soup. The meat is beef. Beef meat in here. And basil and celery. Salty, spicy. All right, let's try just this broth here. Yeah, you definitely get a, a sour, salty. Spicy. Well, I think to some people they might call it spicy. I, I don't think it's spicy at all. But, but uh, yeah, to describe the flavor profile, you do get us a, a hint of spiciness to it. Shouldn't have said that. Some just hit the back of my throat. That's spicy. I'm grabbing a piece of the meat here. I take every bit of it back. That is spicy. I, I just got hit on the back of my throat with something spicy. I'm getting ready to have to drink some water. The beef is fall apart tender. The soup itself is delicious. <laughs> wow. It's funny because there's a little bit of a sweetness to it as well. It's not like a sugar sweet. I guess it's just all the mixture of all the ingredients in it. The radish. You think the radish is what? Yes. Natural sweet umami flavor. Let's see. That's it. We got another one here. I'm already getting full. What do we got here? Burmese pork curry. The pork is cooked with masala. Garam masala. masala. Indian curry spice. And this dish, we get infant from Burma. The Burma get this infant from India. It's sweet and sour. All right, let's go. Oh my god. The Burmese pork curry is fantastic. It's sweet. Right? Sour. Yeah, I want to try just a piece of that meat of on its own. Oh, look at that. I want to get some of that broth in there as well. I want to see if that sour pops through. Because with the rice in there, that's what I got. Like a, a big burst of sweet in the mouth. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. This is unbelievably delicious. Last dish that we got here. What are we looking at here, Mui? Grilled fermented pork. Yeah. It's made from minced pork, sticky rice, salt, and garlic wrapped in banana leaf. Let it ferment for a few days. So after fermented, we grill over the fire and we eat with the rice and eat with the garlic and eat with the chilies. Eat with garlic and eat with the chili. All right. I am already getting full. So just so you guys are aware here, uh, a chef's tour. Every tour they've done, this is the fourth or fifth one that I've been in, in multiple countries. The amount of food that they give you is absolutely mind-boggling. Like, you will not be able to eat everything when you come on their tours here. You said some people will eat this raw. Yeah, some other fermented people eat this raw too. They'll eat it raw. Okay, so here we go. We got sticky rice, we have the fermented grilled pork here. We're gonna grab a chili. I'm gonna grab a little one because I'm not biting into it. I'm just gonna pop the whole thing in my mouth. Salty, sour, sour. Sour, it's salty. It's funny because the fermentation process almost leaves a fruity aroma to it. It's actually quite nice. I'm gonna try this just on its own. I don't want any rice with it. Because the flavors of it, the fermentation, it's, it's weird. What do you say? Sticky rice, minced pork, sticky rice. Salt, garlic, pork skin. That's really weird because that fermentation, there is, I don't want to say it, it's not fruity, it's not like biting into a mango, but 
there's this more fruity, aromatic flavor that stays behind them. And that's why I asked for the ingredients again, because it just doesn't make sense. It's actually really good though. Uh, that's pork skin all around the outside. <laughs> oh yeah. We're gonna try chicken and pork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how are the chickens done? Chicken also cook in the clay pot. They cook these chickens yeah. in the clay pot too. All oh, roasted pork belly there. Would you look at that? And then look. Okay, Moi. What do we have? Roast crispy pork belly. Huh? What chicken in the big huge clay pot? That we saw up front there. There are two sauce, thick sauce, nam chim mak am, tamarind sauce. Okay. Made from toasted rice chili, tamarind paste, katangko, chow la, sugar, soy sauce, bit sweet. And this one, nam chim jiao. That one I'm familiar not, with. Not Eastern style sauce, yeah. Toasted rice chili, toasted rice seeds powder. Mom choose fish sauce, shallot, spring onion, and coriander, no sugar. No sugar, yeah. Salty, spicy. They're, yeah, the namjum jiaos I've always had have, are very umami. They have this beautiful flavor to them, that are the ones that I've had. What about the herbs here? What do we basil, have? Basil, green leaf, this is the basil and coriander. Coriander. You dip the pork in the sauce. You pick a piece of the basil and coriander, eat together with the pork. Especially the basil helps to cut the fat of the pork. And which sauce would you use with which? Or is this person a uh, choice? Usually nam chim jiao. With pork? With the pork. Nam chim mak ham, tamarind sauce, we eat with the chicken. chicken. But no rules, you can create your own sauce. You can do whatever you want here. All right, where do I want to start here? Do you want me to start pork? Yeah, pork is the popular. That's where I'm going to start at. I'm going to start on pork. Now, what I got to do is just kind of show you this though. Will you look at that fat content on that? Like, big glistening fatty bit. A little bit of lean meat there. Nam Jim Jiao. And then which herb? Does it matter or is she, she should have one to chase it with the herb? Yeah. Try one at that time. Yeah. So don't mix together. All right, we're gonna grab a piece of basil. Nam Jim Jiao. I feel like this is gonna make a mess everywhere. Here we go. <laughs> I know a lot of countries that do the herbs, that chase all the meat back, and I understand the principle behind it, but pork belly for me is one of those things that should not have an herb chasing it at all. That's just my personal opinion. The Nam Jim Jiao is fantastic, but the spiciness on it. That on its own, you don't need anything else. Just the uh, chicken that's roasted in those clay pots. Yeah, he marinated the same sauce with the pork. Coriander, good garlic, salt, pepper, soy sauce. With the all of the... the... Chicken he marinated overnight. Very juicy, very soft and tender, not dry. Well, yeah, you kind of saw there where I just tore this apart. All right, I'm not even dipping in the sauce yet. Let's just try a piece of the chicken. That's a super juicy piece of chicken. Here we go. This is the tamarind. Nam Jim. Nam Jim Makam. Makam. Yeah, Makam means tamarind. Yeah, the chicken's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like sticky rice flour. Sweet potato, sweet purple potato flour. Coconut meat, coconut juice, palm sugar, salt. We at the ethnic restaurant. Ethnic. We will try ethnic cuisine. Ethnic cuisine. cuisine. Shan cuisine. Chan food. Payot. Uh, yep. Payot is the name of the lady that she started opening the, the restaurant from the beginning. Okay. She has away now. Yeah. Her daughter is second generation. Her family wants to bring peace and love. She wants to connect the people through her food. They've been open for 10 years. But she's the most popular vendor in Chiang Mai that cook ethnic cuisine in Chiang Mai. Here we have Chan pizza. Just the name pizza. It's more like a pancake. Oh, it's no. made from rice flour, mixed with tapioca flour, steam, steam in the wild tray. Okay. After the rice is cooked, seasoning inside with eggs, peanut, cabbage, spring onion, and coriander. Nice. And dry. Do you remember dry fermented soybean? Yeah. Only seasoning in there. Oh, it's a seasoning over here. And this one, Penny Wat, the name of the vegetable called Penny Wat. Yeah. They make into Penny Wat salad. Yeah. 
mix with fresh leaf, garlic, shallot, lime juice, salt, peanut. Okay. It's just a salad. I'm, I'm assuming everything we're looking at here is vegetarian. Yeah, vegetarian. Okay. This one tea leaf salad. Tea leaf? The tea. The tea that we drink fermented. Yep. Mix with fresh leaf, garlic, shallot, cabbage, tomato, lime juice, and deep fried lentil, chickpea, yes. peanut, and broad bean. This one coconut pancake that we just get from the lady next door. This is traditional sweet snack from the central part of China. Traditional sweet snack from the central part of Thailand. You want me to do this first? Sure, before it gets cold. Okay, here we go. Pancake, so... Coconut co pancake. Coconut pancake. I can see big hunks of coconut in here, so... You guys know, like, I'm a fan of the spicy. You know I love my sweets, too. This is amazing. The huge chunks of coconut meat that are in this. Oh my god. Uh, pizza. Pizza. But it's more like a pancake. Kind of like a crepe. And what all do we have in here? Inside inside is filling with egg, peanut, cabbage, no. spring onion and coriander, and dry chili powder, and dry fermented soybean powder. The batter, the outside, is rice flour mixed with tapioca flour and steam. And steam. And that's why you're getting that, cool. that white yeah. translucent bit on it is from the tapioca that's on it that's in there. Here we go. Let's get a shot. The little pizza is fantastic. Uh, word of advice for you. Don't be like me and be like a glutton and try and shove this giant piece in your mouth at one time. You just sit here for 10 minutes trying to chew. This is really good. We're going to go after one more here. What was this one? Penny wort salad. Penny wort? Penny wort, yeah. Which you said is a vegetable? It's a vegetable. They okay. make the juice from this vegetable. Penny wort juice, yeah. Penny wort juice? Juice, yes. High in antioxidant, health, anti inflammation. So eating the vegetarian foods, we're going to become healthy then? Yes. Mix the shop and slide in a small pieces. Mix with freshly garlic, shallot, lime juice, sesame, salt, peanut. I, I hate them do this because uh, it is a it's a vegetarian restaurant and it is a salad that I'm doing here but you guys know how much I can't do tomatoes so I'm just picking through to move the tomatoes out of my way because uh, I got a tomato there I'm gonna eat it anyway here we go that's nice it's a bit bitter a little bit better but it's very well fresh you can try on its own it's more bitter than it's more bitter if they mix into salad not too bad and is this the Pennywad, this is what it's looking like. She keeps saying Pennywad to me. I don't even know what Pennywad is. How would I, I, I don't know. But this on its own is going to be more bitter? Yes, please try. All right, here we go. Pennywad. Penny, P-E-N-N-Y-W-O-R-T, -E -E Pennywad. Pennywad? Yeah. Okay. I, okay, I've heard of it. I, I think I know what you're talking about. All right, let's give it a try. It almost has like a celery flavor to it. Celery, like um, watercress? Maybe watercress. The salad dough is delicious. That's refreshing. I could do without the tomatoes, but no, it's pretty good. All right, last one. What was this one? Tea leaf salad. Tea leaves. Black little tiny pieces. It's the tea leaf. Little tiny black pieces of yeah. tea leaves. I'm just making sure I don't dig into tomatoes again. Mixed with the freshly garlic, shallot, cabbage, tomato, garlic. yeah, deep fried lentil, chickpea, peanut, and broad bean. There's red cabbage in there. I thought it was a red onion or something. Is that red cabbage? Cabbage. Yeah, it's, it's red? Okay. Here we go. Mm. This is delicious. Hard to sit here and chew all of this up. This is a fantastic salad. But I got a point to make about this. I really feel like I should have elephant pants on right now <laughs> and a yoga bag. <laughs> so the last stop you're going to do on your tour with Mui and a chef's tour is going to be a Tanin Market. She's going to walk you through and explain everything in this market to you. Honestly, I thought we were stopping just to do a tour of this market here, but I kid you not, Mui's bought like nine different things that she wants me to eat now. So, and I'm not sure she's done yet. 
Are you done yet or are we still walking? We're not done yet. Grilled pig's brain? So as you can see here from in front of me, tons of stuff. Like literally Mui is going all out here. She's got us giant fresh coconuts. Oh uh, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, I haven't had a fresh coconut in a long time. Like you should start with something simple and easy first, like sausage, not until You want to do the sayua? Yeah, okay. Sayua I've done before. I love it. It's delicious. I'm just grabbing one with my fingers here. Piece of sayua. Let's give it a shot. Sayua is a sausage. I, I kid you not, you're not going to want to eat any other sausage again. It's just that good. All of the herbs and spices that are packed into this, the chili paste that's inside of this, it's phenomenal. Oh man. Okay, next thing we're going to do here, this uh, deep fried pork skin. What is this called? Nam Pik Nung, green chili dip. This is another specialty chili dip from the north. Nam Pik Nung. Can you get some of that chili dip on it there? The Nam Pik Nung. All right, you see it everywhere. What all is in this? I know it's a green chili paste, but... The green chili garlic, shallot, and uh, fish sauce, salt. Fish sauce. That's the flavor that I'm getting there is that fish sauce that's in there. It's fantastic. If you follow this channel, you've seen me eat a lot of really weird stuff. This is going right up there with it. Grilled pig brain. What else is in here? Some of the yeah, whites or the, the pig brain? The white part is brain, yeah. Seasoning with dry chili, garlic, shallot, lemongrass, galango, shrimp head, and salt mixed with egg. Wrap in banana leaf and grill over the charcoal fire. All right, here we go. Normally we eat with rice, sticky rice. Uh, we've had too much rice today though. And I am so full right now and I've still got a lot of food to try here. Like, that's one thing with a chef's tour. You are not going to be hungry when this thing is done. There's no way you're going to be able to eat everything that's on this tour. Uh, any of their tours, anywhere that they've done around the world. Like, they're, they're that good. All right, here we go. Grill pig brain. You would think that there would be a flavor there from pig brain. There really isn't. You get a little, the pig brain itself is creamy, as it always is. You get all of the other flavors. It's spicy. You're getting just a lot of herbs and spices in it. You don't really taste the pig brains really at all. Filling inside with the sticky rice ball. Sticky rice ball on the inside. Inside of the sticky rice ball is coconut meat, palm sugar. Coconut milk, palm sugar. Coconut meat. Coconut, coconut meat. Yeah. I thought you said sugar. coconut milk. Meat. Coconut meat, palm sugar. All right, here we go. Sh sh shove the whole thing in my mouth. So let's give it a go. They're fantastic. The coconut meat and the palm sugar, once that bursts in the middle of it in your mouth, beautiful sweetness to it. They're delicious. That's fantastic. Coconut pudding. Coconut pudding? Yeah. There are two layers. I've done this before. Oh, you, you, you tried this before? You... I've tried these before. Okay, I'm just gonna see if I can sw split one in half here. Yeah. There are two layers. The first layer is rice flour. Rice and flour. Sugar. Yeah, and steam. And then you have to cook another layer on the top. The white part is coconut milk, rice flour, and salt. Salty, creamy on the top, and sweet at the bottom. So you have to eat together two layers in okay. time. Okay, here we go. I cut it in half, so I have both layers over here. Give it a shot. These are amazing. They're fantastic. This is better. I've had these before in Bangkok. This is better than the ones I've had there. They taste very fresh. Mmm. Oh, they are good. Moe is busting open a mango steam for me right now. I'm going to grab this rambutan that she's already got apart. The rambutans are awesome. Uh, they remind me of something in the Bahamas that we had called kinet, uh, which are little small green fruits. The fleshiness of them and the way they stick onto the seeds are very similar. They're delicious, they're refreshing. Okay, this time I'm actually going after mangosteen there. I'm eating all of that. Oh, those are fantastic. The name of the dessert called Tap Tim Grob. Top tin grob. Top tin. Top tin mean ruby. Grob okay. Mean crunchy. Okay. Top tin is made from water chestnut. 
I they dye the color pink like ruby, uh, pink ruby water chestnut in English. Okay, is there? There's, it's just going to be a water chestnut. Water it's just chestnut. been dyed. They, they dye the color, and okay. they, they coat with sticky uh, tapioca flour outside. Coated with tapioca flour, and then this it's is crispy. coconut milk. It's yeah. all sitting coconut in. Coconut milk and sugar syrup. Yeah. And sugar syrup. Crunch, coconut crunchy. milk and sugar syrup. Crunchy inside. Sweet, creamy. Very refreshing. I can't eat anymore. We are finally finishing off with this food tour here. And I'm telling you, it's a chef's tour. This is, like I said, I believe the fourth city that I've done these in. I've done them in Bangkok, Kuala Lumpur, Hanoi, here. Like they literally overload you. The company was all started by chefs. So they know exactly what they're looking for in a food tour and food tours that aren't gonna cater to the Western palate. You are gonna get some off the wall things when you come on these food tours. Uh, Mui and I just sat here and counted up 19 different dishes that we've eaten on this tour here. All your transportation is included, but that's it for here. We're gonna wrap this video up. We're gonna leave links in the description for everything down below, but you guys tune in next week and see what else I get up to. New city.